Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris. I just wanted to bring you guys an update and kind of what I was looking at here. First of all, I hope you guys had a blessed Sunday. You get to spend some time with your family and friends, so hope you guys are enjoying that. And I just wanted to bring this to you, something I've been looking at. First of all, I've been studying some Fib Fibonacci levels, and I've also been studying a little bit on Elliott Wave. I've just started to get into that. It's more advanced. And uh, I definitely want to have all the basics at least a good foundation for it before I really start studying Elliott Wave. But I was just looking at this and it kind of struck my eye a little bit. So this is me just messing around. Remember guys, I'm a beginner. I'm here just with you guys and just having a good time. So what I did, I took our low point on the Fibonacci. This was on September 14th or 15th. And the reason why I took this is my bottom point. I feel like that's when the market really started. We had this huge green candle right here which was the largest one we'd seen and it came in after this crash right down here it came all the way down to $32 after we had a nice run up and then this huge volume came in and that's when I feel like people noticed the market and that's when people were really getting in so I'm gonna pull that point and I'm gonna take it all the way up to the top point here of $371 and what I want to show you is the retracement that we've had in this overall downtrend We've retraced to the 786, and the 786 is a very deep and it's a powerful retracement that we've had overall. And what I'm kind of looking at this as is almost like a super cycle or a grand super cycle in terms of the waves of the Elliott wave on a large one year time frame, if that makes sense. Because you know, Elliott wave happens even down to the minutes, the hours, all different types of things, but I'm talking the big span of a year. So we had this nice deep correction and you can see we bottomed out on the 786 tweezer bottoms and along here as well we've been traveling in this channel between 104 and 161 right now and we have not broken through that which guys anything can happen in cryptocurrency news could happen and, and we could break through this but for the chart purposes you can see it's almost like we have put in this bottom and two here did not retrace back down past this to make it invalid so we had a nice deep retracement and what my thoughts are that I'm kind of looking at and why I told you guys a thousand dollars is kind of my year-end prediction and you know with great news anything could happen it could it could go to five thousand dollars in a year or with bad news you know anything could happen so don't ever invest more than what you're able to lose that's my advice to you and remember I'm not your financial advisor I'm just here to hang out with y'all and show you what I'm looking at but as you can see we had this too and now what I'm gonna do so we can see a little bit better I'm gonna get the Fibonacci off here and I'm gonna pull this down and this is almost where I have my thoughts of the wave count being and anything can happen guys it's just me joking around and having fun so what if in this grand scheme of Elliott waves what if something like this takes place and this is by October 2018 we would be around eleven hundred twelve hundred dollars and you can also see pulling this line here like this I've kind of kept it in line with that as well going off this all-time high right here and going off when we had that run up that made it to about ninety two dollars there but what if this was our one this is our two and then we have a really strong third motive wave that could even make this number look small up through because we had such a deep retracement and remember the fourth retracement most likely won't be at that 786 level because this one was so deep so this one may get to the 50 percent if that makes sense so gets to around 500 or so dollars doesn't retrace all the way to this high or the top of one and then we have a run up for five where who knows it could go up in here it could just be barely above like that but we don't know that's my thoughts though in terms of it being a thousand dollars and and that's without good news that's just looking at the charts is all I'm doing here and messing around but I can see that formation kind of happening here if you really look at this correction we've had it's a truly a beautiful correction and how we were looking at that 786 wasn't that kind of crazy how it went down to that point and then people were buying it back up so that's what I wanted to bring to you just really study your Fibonacci and your Elliott waves like I said I'm a I'm a beyond beginner when it comes to Elliott waves and all that so 
I want your guys' thoughts. I know many people think it could go above $1,000, but I figure, you know, just a conservative number. I, I really think that could happen. And like I've told you, it, it kind of seems like the market is starting to have that underlying change. I'm not saying we're, we're out of the woods yet by any type of means, but it seems like things are starting to change a little bit. A little more positivity is coming in. So remember to study that psychology cheat, cheat sheet, the Wall Street cheat sheet. That's a really good one to show you the emotions that you go through in a market cycle. So these are my thoughts. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And just God bless each and every one of you. Get out there and have fun. Take care.